Hi, this is Michael Carvajal, and you're watching True School Sports. Take care. Good job. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BC, and we're with Pops. And we're right now. We're about to get on the road. Uh, we're heading over to Daytona for uh, I think it's called the, the Battle of the Beach. Christy Martin promotions. Yes. We got uh, best. E e Evan Holyfield, Evander's son. He's fighting on the card. Yeah. Got Gabriel Chacon, my old sparring partner for Canelo's boxing yeah. gym on the card. Young Holyfield. We got Juan Carlos Carrillo from Colombia. Get all kinds he's, of people. He's Luis Perez's fighter. So listen. We're about to get on the road. You know, as you can see, we got the bag here. Yeah. Got the other trash out. out. Yeah. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get on the road. We'll, we'll see you guys there. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. True School Sports. Fight. Yo, I, I, was, I was just telling somebody this. This is the third fight already we're covering this year. Three, Three. fights already this year. On a row, year. baby. On a row. We're on pace to cover more fights this year than ever the, the other years combined. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> See where we're at? I don't know if you guys are gonna see it. There it comes, there it goes. Dang it. Oh, I missed it. Missed it. it. No, I didn't get it, but look. Danny Beach right there. Boom. You see it. There you be. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah. We're on the board right now, though. I'm going to Daytona. Yeah. For those of you who uh, are here with us, this is uh, South Florida. This is, this is what, I 95 going north. You know, got palm trees. All kinds of beautiful sights and sights, and things to see in sunny South Florida. Way over there, I don't know if you guys can see. There's like a the skyline way over there. All right, so we made a pit stop, a much needed pit stop at like that. But we made a pit stop. You know what I'm saying? I got the you know, granola bars, waters, Powerade, pops over there. Fill up, fill up the, the tank. I don't know if you guys can see me. Let's get out. Ugh. Here he is over here. He's filling up the tank. We made our pit stop. See? Two school sports. There you go. So we're going to take our happy asses back so while he fills up the tank and while, while we snack on some food. So we'll see you guys soon. All right. So we're here. This is the Hard Rock Hotel in Daytona. True School Sports in the house, Nanya Beach in the house. We made it, Pops. Yes, we did. Yeah, so, should be a fun fight card. We'll see you guys inside. No sense. All right, so scratch that. Right now, we're trying to find some parking. We have been too lucky to find any parking. It's just crazy, every, any, every event we go through is nuts. Well, not every event, this one's a bit different. I mean, um, for those of you who can't really see, like, look, look Daytona, there's not really, like, like I'm, I'm, I want to show you guys. So, like, right over there is the parking lot. That's where well, the, well, the sign is right there. That's, the, that's where the parking lot is, and it's full. It's in capacity. Valet parking is, like, $25. We ain't, we ain't trying to valet park. Nothing. But they're trying to pretty much force down your throats, and, and, and they're trying to get those, those tourist dollars. But they're not getting our, getting our tourist dollars. What do you, you think, Dad? Not that right. <laughs> so the Humber parking continues. We'll let you guys know what happens in a second. Because we want to get in and work, you know. But they, they, they're trying to get us beat, but it's not happening. So the hunt for parking continues. We have to wait behind these guys. These freaking douchebag bikers with their with their Punisher jackets on. Hey, it is what it is. We want to go see some boxing punish somebody, not no damn motorcycles. Yeah. All right, we have valet, 25. I can't afford that. Thank you, man. I'll get out. Thank you. All right, yeah, yeah. So you guys heard it. We only have we only have uh, valet parking, 
and they're trying to shove this $25 valet parking down our throats. Now, I know go, go what ahead. you guys are saying, saying, BT, you got 25,000 subscribers almost. <laughs> You can't afford no twenty five dollar. You better go parking. get that GoFund me, but we, boy, you guys don't even know what we go through to get out here. I'm gonna go in here real quick. You just go in there. All right, so we'll see you soon. I'll drop. All right, so we found parking. We're here. Just moments away from the fight card starting. It's like four something right now. The fight card starts at five o'clock. Uh, I'm just glad we found parking. You know, it's funny. We went, we went to the valets. The valets said, "Oh, there's valet parking for twenty five dollars here and twenty five dollars there." So they're trying to shove it down my throat and get us beat. But we've actually found out that there was parking for free near the beach. Who knew? Who knew? Yeah, you hey, can't get us beat. It's two school sports. Can't get us beat. So we're cool. number one content in boxing. Box. We're here. So we finally made it inside. As you guys can see, it's not a big venue, but it's nice though. It's nice. We got all the uh, Florida box community out here. We got a DJ over there. All right. So this is the this is the fight car, guys. For those of you who aren't here, this fight is being put on by Christy Martin Promotions in Daytona, Florida. Bad on the beach too. Turn it open. We got Juan Carlos Carrillo, the Colombian Olympian. He uh, he's Lewis's press his fighter. He trained at Fifth Street Gym. He's in a six rounder. We got Nikolai Schwab, who also trains at Fifth Street Gym. He's in a four rounder. We got uh, Evander Holyfield's son, Evan Holyfield, in the 10th fight of the evening against Travis Neto in a four rounder. We got Gabriel Chacon, my old sparring partner from uh, Canino's Boxing Gym in Daniel. He's a 12th bout. And overall, it's a, it's a long, long card. So uh, just look for a lot of action tonight. We'll be giving you guys more coverage on True School Sports. And this, like, I guess. Chrissy Martin, she's going into the International Boxing Hall of Fame this year, so shout out to her. And that's pretty much the program. Let's read the mission statement. It says, so There you go. Got us in the national anthem. Yo quiero que tú me traes a mí una tremenda bella de tu país que son bien bonitas. Una bella, una bella, una jeva, una, una, una mujer, 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 mujer colombiana que son bien bonitas. ¿Cuál es el pueblo más mejor que hay? Vamos a buscar la mujer Cali. Uh, ¿Cuál es el pueblo de Colombia que es el mejor sitio para buscar una jeva está bien linda? Este bueno. Que está bien sabrosa. Bueno. Mira, Ay, yo no, uno acá, como si dice uno acá, tremendo. Eh, pues, yo, yo soy de Barranquilla, ¿me entiendes? Barranquilla, okay. De Barranquilla, pero las mejores mujeres de Colombia para mí sí. están en Medellín y en Cali. Put it all together. What kind of fighter do you think you're going to be in the future when you when you become the best version of yourself? I feel like I'm, when I become the best version of myself, I can't. I won't be able to compare myself to anybody else because it will be something something new. You know, I bring something. I feel like I'll be bringing something a little bit new to the sport as far as you know. Loma Chica does this. You know, Holyfield does that. You know, it'll be a whole mix of things. Um, I feel like it'd be exciting, something exciting to see. Nah, I believe so. And you know. Being that you have that, that last name and there's a lot of pressure that comes with that, um, how, how do you feel you're, you're coping with that so far? Uh, I really don't even use it as, um, you know, I really don't be thinking about it. I've been worried about what's, you know, what, what, I'm, what am I going to do, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Um, that's why I kind of be kind of excited coming to the fight because every single fight is a chance for me to show you, well, the, the viewers, uh -huh. how I'm different from my dad, you yeah, know? Yeah. And so far, um, you know, hopefully I'm showing y'all something. Not just your dad, but I think everybody, man, because I, like, like, I go to a lot of fights and I, and I watch a lot of boxing. Yeah. I don't see too many people as hype as you go to the ring. Oh, yeah. yeah hey. even, even here, when I, when I caught you hitting the pads, you were just, you were on a cloud 37. Yeah. Like, just... Five 100, man. Uh, this is all about having fun. Yeah. I haven't taken a punch to them, I haven't given them a punch, so it's a different one when you really know them. Yeah, I mean personally, like, yeah, yeah. we shared the ring, we shared the yeah. ring. And you, and you know it's important when Brandon sat through the whole fight, he didn't care, no disrespect to the Holyfields or anybody else, he says, I don't care what's going on, 
I'm not moving from this chair. I want to back up my man. That's it, man. That's what I gave. Because I remember when I, um, when I first started boxing, he was, the, he was, he was the first, one of the first people I ever sparred. And um, that was like a very important part of my life, my, my, my life, you know. And, and uh, the fact that uh, we like to share the ring and, you know, you were always one of the hardest workers in the gym. Always working hard, always always giving uh, your time to whoever wanted to learn about the sport of boxing. I, I remember you turned me on too, like we, we were sparring once and, and, and you, you brought the heels. Like, all right, you want to bring the heels? <laughs> <laughs>